Hello everybody and welcome to the very first episode of the Grad School Chronicles. Now, I had a bit of trouble with uh, coming up with content for the very first episode. And don't get me wrong, I have a lot of ideas out there, but I wasn't sure if it's the right move to jump into this vlogging game with something super original and out there right away, especially because I haven't done this before ever. So I think I've settled on perhaps the most obvious thing, and that is just to make an introductory episode. I want to tell you a little bit about uh, myself, tell you a bit about this channel, and uh, what my grad school experience has been so far, and why I think having this channel is really important for the graduate students out there. Now let's start off by ripping off that band-aid and talking about what is graduate school. Now, graduate school is, according to Wikipedia, which is the best place to find answers, by the way, uh, but according to Wikipedia, graduate school is a place that awards advanced academic degrees, generally to people who have uh, completed their bachelor degree with high grade point average, so with high grades. In other words, according to Wikipedia, uh, graduate school is a place for nerds to flourish. But I think I can relate to a different kind of definition of grad school, and that's that it's a passage of life. Uh, you can still be a student while enjoying the perks of also being an adult. And joining grad school is like signing a contract at the end of your bachelor's, which uh, offers you a job with, well, Pretty low pay, minimal benefits, uh, quite a bit of stress, not a lot of time for social life. Things aren't that bad. I mean, you do get a degree out of it and you still get to call yourself a student. Or something like a student. Something in between a student and an actual adult. It's kind of like a limbo. Let's call grad school a limbo and leave it at that. I think the most important thing for me is that grad school teaches you how to think on a different level, uh, how to problem solve, analyze, and really adapt to new kind of mental situations. And that's the biggest reason that drives me to uh, be in grad school and go forward and complete my graduate education. Talking about me, I'm Vladimir. I haven't introduced myself yet, but I'm a second year master's student at the University of Calgary in Alberta, Canada. I'm studying physical chemistry and I'm currently in the process of transferring into the PhD program. Actually, my candidacy exam has already been scheduled for April 18th, 2018 and I'm not sure uh, if I'm looking forward for, to it, but um, I'm not yet nervous, I'm sure I will be and I'm sure I'll get to making an episode about the whole experience of going through candidacy. Hang tight for that. My graduate student experience so far, it's been up and down, I'm not gonna lie. But I think anything you do is going to have its uh, lows and its highs. So it's really not that surprising, is it? But I think in November of 2017, about a month ago, I really hit the bottom of my experience so far and I won't get all sobby on you with details of what it was um, I'm sure if you're a grad student you would know uh, that it's just one of those days or a series of days where nothing's quite working nothing's going the way you planned and you just don't feel like coming into work but Thankfully, I have amazing colleagues, fellow graduate students and postdocs who have supported me through that tough period, who've helped me get back on track with my research, with my life in general, and for that I'm very thankful. And I think I want this YouTube channel to serve a similar role. I realize that not all graduate students have the opportunity to go out uh, to their colleagues or their supervisor and just openly talk about some of the issues in their work that they're going through. And uh, I think it's really important to realize that 
even though you may be going through this kind of thing the first time and it's maybe discouraging in a lot of ways but other people have been there and uh, they felt a similar experience and they can relate to you and they can share uh, their ways of dealing with uh, some of the frustrations uh, that go along with being a graduate student. And hopefully by having a YouTube channel that you can tune into during the lunch break or your coffee break and just uh, listen to somebody else blab about some uh, of the academic world problems is going to uh, in some way help you get through your own work and get back on track as well. Being in graduate school for about a year and a half I've realized that the naive idea that I had that I can uh, pursue science and become a scholar and make some kind of impact on academia that dream is kind of gone and it's too bad but at the same time maybe it's just the way things are and it's pretty normal to go through that phase change in uh, one's mindset. The most important thing though that I've realized as well is that I can still make a difference uh, being a graduate student maybe not through my science necessarily or through contributing to this world of academia which let's be honest it's uh, it's quite messed up but I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk about that in later videos anyways I've realized that I can still make that difference by contributing and uh, being a part of the academic community and even making these kinds of vlogging videos maybe if I can reach out to one or two or as many of you out there who may be watching and make your day a bit easier or you know get you back on your feet in terms of your research in terms of your academic work then that's thumbs up for me that's awesome and that's the whole point of me having this little vlogging YouTube channel but don't get me wrong I'm not planning to make uh, these videos just about uh, the how terrible the world of academia is or something along these lines not at all I want to present my student experience uh, to you in the most honest way that I can I'll try to include all the good things and all the bad things all together and as I said in my little idea book I already have a ton of things that I would really love to try but it's going to depend on uh, other people and also my own time manage managing skills which are not the best I'm not gonna lie but anyway uh, I would love to make some videos with interviews of fellow graduate students and maybe even undergrads general tips and tricks about uh, being a graduate student giving a presentation going to conferences I don't know avoiding procrastination and trying to be a better writer um, by no means I'm an expert in all these things but uh, I think regardless of my expertise for you and for me to have somebody uh, present their way of doing things is really important uh, just to get a perspective of how can you improve your own work and how can you improve your own experience being in a graduate program yourself so stick around and I hope you find something enjoyable useful educational in my videos also please feel free to leave your suggestions down below in the comments or shoot me a personal email the email address for this youtube channel should be somewhere in the about page on the youtube uh, thing <clears throat> hit me up with any of your suggestions what would you like to see what are some uh, things that you would like me to chat about maybe uh, particular questions particular tips and tricks uh, anything really I mean the sky's the limit this is all a big experiment for me uh, and I hope to make it as useful as I possibly can for anybody out there who may be watching 
There's a couple of YouTube channels that I would like to thank for inspiring me in some way to pick up a camera and start making these uh, vlogging videos. One of them is Danae and Andrew. They're a couple out of the United States and they put out uh, photography related content. I highly encourage you to uh, go see their channel if you're picking up photography as a hobby like I was. And second one is Ryan Bruce, also known as Fluff. He's a very talented musician and puts out content related to guitar, uh, kind of guitar gear type deal. And they've both kind of helped me get over that uncomfortable feeling of sitting in front of a camera and uh, talking to uh, somebody who may or may not be watching this. Anyway, thank you to these guys for doing what they do. Highly appreciate it. And of course, the biggest shout out I have to give is to my colleagues, uh, Dr. David Press, Dr. Suma Thomas, Nicola Masia, Sophia Roth, Sam, Cyrus, Amir, Joanne, everybody who I've worked with uh, you guys are amazing, you've supported me uh, in so many ways and I hope that uh, you too may find some of these uh, vlogging videos useful in one way or another. And of course I have to give a big shout out to my PI, to my supervisor Dr. Belinda Hain, who has also been very supportive of all my adventures and uh, of course of my research work. So, thank you to all these people, uh, thank you for watching this video, and again, leave any suggestions down below in the comment box or email me, uh, give this video a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down, it's all good. Um, I'll see you in a couple of weeks, I think the next episode I'm going to do is going to be a lot more uh, content heavy rather than blah 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 heavy. Uh, I think I'll target uh, first uh, kind of my tips and tricks on giving a good uh, scholarly presentation whether for a conference or for your research group. See you there!